Joel's boss believes that since he began biking to work, Joel often arrives late to the office. But Joel, who has been logging his daily commute time, thinks his boss is mistaken. The assistant in Minitab statistical software is an interactive menu that guides you through an analysis from start to finish. Let's use it to see if the data confirm or refute Joel's belief. Seeing your data in graphical form is always a good place to start, so select Assistant, Graphical Analysis. To look at the distribution of how long it takes Joel to bike to the office, click the Graphical Summary button. Enter Road Bike as the Y column, and check the box to tell the assistant these data were recorded in time order. The assistant outputs a diagnostic report, a report card, and a summary report. The summary report shows that Joel's mean commute time is a bit over 26 minutes, good enough to reach the office on time. But the list of descriptive statistics reveals that the standard deviation is higher than 4 minutes. That means there's a lot of variation from day to day. The graph of the distribution of the data bears this out, showing that his commutes have ranged from under 18 minutes to about 36 minutes. The graph of data in time order suggests that Joel's commute has gotten longer over the past several weeks, too. His boss may be right. But is the process truly drifting, or is the variation we're seeing just common cause variation that is naturally inherent in the process? The assistant can create charts to assess the stability of a process. Select Assistant, Control Charts. The assistant's decision tree guides you to the appropriate control chart for your situation. Since we have continuous data that has not been collected in subgroups, choose the IMR chart. In the dialog box, select the Road Bike Data column. If you're monitoring a process with established control limits, you can enter them in the assistant. Or, as we'll do in this case, you can simply let the assistant estimate them from the data. The assistant automatically reviews your data for out-of-control points. If one of these points has a special cause, such as an equipment failure, you can tell the assistant not to use it when calculating the control limits. The assistant has flagged several points in this data, but Joel can't identify any special causes to justify removing them. The assistant produces a report card, a diagnostic report, and a summary report. The summary report indicates that with the process Joel is using now, the process mean is not stable, and he cannot accurately predict whether he's going to make it to work on time or not. To continue biking to work, Joel needs to make a change. For the next six weeks, Joel takes a much more linear and less crowded route to the office using his mountain bike. This seems to fix the lateness problem, but Joel wants to be sure he can count on getting to work on time. Has switching routes made his commute time more consistent? Choose Assistant Before After Control Charts to compare the process with the old route to the new one. With continuous data that was not collected in subgroups, the Assistant's decision tree directs you to the Before After IMR chart. The data from Joel's new route is in a second column of the worksheet, so choose Road Bike as the Before Y column and Mountain Bike as the After Y column. The Assistant's Summary Report provides the bottom line results of the analysis. Both the process mean and the standard deviation have been significantly reduced. The standard deviation was reduced by 55.9%. Joel's mean commute time dropped from 27 minutes to less than 15 minutes. Joel's commute process now fits within much tighter control limits and has far less variation. With a right click, Joel can export the summary report to Word or PowerPoint and send it to his boss. Whether you bike, drive, or walk to work, you've completed this analysis in a timely manner. You have seen how the assistant can help you view the distribution of your data and create before and after control charts for your process. To see what else Minitab's assistant can do for you, or to download a free 30-day trial of Minitab, visit minitab.com.